Now, I know that sometimes it's easy to just go to the grocery store and pick up some odds and ends and things that you need and it's just convenient, right? You're already at Publix, you might as well just pick up these items. But guys, please be careful about this. Please be mindful about this. Some of these items, the markup on them is crazy absolutely crazy how much more expensive certain items are at the grocery store. So today I'm sharing eight items to not buy at the grocery store. Please, please, please do not buy these eight items at the grocery store. Y'all, y'all may not like me after this, but trust me, it's going to help to save you lots and lots of money. But if you are new, welcome. My name is Kelly Ann Smith with freedomandabudget.com. On my channel, I share about how to save money, how to save money on groceries, how to save money in your budget, how to start budgeting, how to invest for beginners, how to be an entrepreneur, all of those really fun things. So subscribe, join the Freedom and a Budget family, and let's get into it. The first one is pre-cut produce. So produce that is pre-cut in those containers or already done for you in those produce trays, whatever they may be, that's gonna be a huge markup. And it's crazy how much more expensive the pre-cut produce is rather than just taking under five minutes, cutting it up yourself, cutting your own watermelon, cutting your own pineapple, whatever it may be, it's gonna save you a lot of money. The markup on pre-cut produce is typically between 30 and 70%, sometimes even more. Sometimes it's over double, like 200% markup on pre-cut produce. So please be mindful of that. Watch out for pre-cut produce. It's, it's gonna cost you a lot of money. Number two is personal care items. So things like shampoo, deodorant, body wash, pads, tampons, all of those things. The markup on these is really, really expensive. You're gonna find a lot better deals if you're shopping at places like Walmart or Target or Amazon or Costco. So skip the grocery store, skip those aisles, don't even go down those aisles in makeup. Makeup's another huge one. Don't even go down that aisle, buy it at the drugstore, buy it at Walmart, buy it on Amazon or Target or Costco, whatever it may be but please, please, please do not buy them at the grocery store. Very similar category is household items. So things like toilet paper, paper towels, dish soap, laundry detergent, all of those, the markup on those is just as high as well. So buy those items just like the other one, buy them at Walmart, buy them at Target, Amazon, Costco, BJ's, whatever it may be, but please do not buy those ones at their grocery store. I know it's convenient. I know they're already there. It's easy just to pick it up, but the markup is a lot higher there than it is at Target, Walmart, all of those places. So please be mindful. Make sure that you're not paying those, those extra, extra prices just for convenience. It's very similar to buying them at a convenience store. They know that you don't want to go to the other store. They know that they can just get away with it and marking up the prices. So please be mindful. If you're wanting to save money on groceries, I do have a course for you guys on how to save money on groceries. The average student is saving $100 a month. Woo, that is crazy, $100 a month. If you use code YouTube, you get $15 off. So it is gonna save you so much money. It's gonna teach you how to meal plan, how to meal prep, how to roll over groceries, how to shop for your pantry, how to learn the grocery store aisles, the little tricks and tips that they do, different ways, different ways that you can make money on your groceries with apps and different things like that. So it is a full course for you guys. Also has a seven day meal plan, a workbook, a Facebook group, all of that. So check out the description box below freedominabudget.com slash groceries and then use code YouTube for $15 off. Next is batteries. Batteries are crazy expensive at the grocery store. Please do not buy them at the grocery store. Batteries are, it's a lot of money. So like the other ones, Walmart, Target, Amazon, BJ's, all of those, do not buy batteries at the grocery store. Next is hot bar items. Now hot bar items, I have to say that very carefully, hot bar items. These are typically pay per pound. So Publix is big on these, Whole Foods is big on these, and this is very, very expensive. When you're loading up the little box or the little tray or whatever it is, you're like, oh yeah, this is fine, this is fine. Next thing you know, it's like $8.99 per pound crazy. So do not pay those hot bar prices. It's actually going to be cheaper for you to buy even a frozen meal, like a frozen skillet meal where you just throw it in the skillet and you're good to go. That's going to be cheaper actually than those hot bar items. So be careful of that. It's also super prone to like foodborne illness and people touching and it's just exposed and it just grosses me out. So those hot bar items, stay away from sanitary reasons, cause reasons. There's just 
just stay away from them. Next on the list is kitchenware. So kitchenware, things like Pyrex dishes, little tongs, spatulas, thermometers, all of those, those kitchenware items, those are gonna be very expensive at the store. I personally like to buy those at places like TJ Maxx or Marshalls. You can get really, really good deals on those items there at a discounted price. So the, the grocery store ones, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna jack it up. Next is pet supplies. Pet supplies is another place that they will inflate the price just for convenience because while you're having your groceries, you're like, oh goodness, I need cat food or dog food or cat litter or whatever it may be, or treats. Those are gonna be very expensive at the grocery store. Buy them places like Walmart, Target, Costco, Amazon, all of that. Then lastly is do not buy anything that is not on your grocery list. Do not buy anything that is not on your grocery list, guys. Guys, I can't say it enough. Stick to your list. Make sure you make a list. As you get more used to your grocery store, I make my list in order of the aisles so that I know exactly what aisles I need to go down so that I'm not backtracking, so I'm not going down aisles I shouldn't be going down and spending them like the, the aisle at Aldi with all the all the wonderful goodies that I just love to pick through, but make sure that you're intentional about what you're spending. Only go to the grocery store once a week. That's really gonna help on making sure that you're not overspending impulse buying because chances are you're gonna be adding more items because ooh, those cookies look good or ooh, that's a great deal. Make sure that you're intentional about your spending and use that course. Use the course that I talked about to help cut your grocery spending and you can really, really save a lot of money on your groceries if you're intentional, if you know how to shop and all the different hacks that you can do. If you wanna know five easy savings challenges so that you can start saving some more money, check out this video here. And if you wanna know some grocery shopping hacks, check out this video here. Hey, no, no, no.